Okay, this video is over Freaky Friday number 8. So we're going to start with the first section. It says determine whether each sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So we have to write yes or no. And then we have to explain. And it says if yes, find the common difference. Okay, so I'm going to do number three. If you look here, it's the x values are obviously increasing by one x. But the y, the y intercept numbers are staying the same. And then same thing over here from three to four, that's one x. But the ones are staying the same. So since it has a common difference, this would be a yes. And then we would say yes, because it has a common difference. Okay, and then it says identify the common difference. So we would say plus 1x. And that's number 3. Okay, the next one says find the next three terms of each arithmetic sequence. So for number four, first let's start by seeing how much it adds or subtracts. So on this one, from three-fourths to one-half, it's getting smaller, so we know it's going to subtract. And it's going to subtract one-fourth. And here, one-half to one-fourth, that's subtracting one-fourth. Subtracting one-fourth. So to find the next one, we'd need to subtract one-fourth again. So zero minus one-fourth would be negative one-fourth. And then subtract another one fourth. That would give us negative one half. And then again, one more time, we do minus one fourth and we get negative three fourths. And that's all you got to do for those. Okay, this one says write an equation for the nth term. So for this you need to use either STAT or you can do it by hand. If you have the calculator on your tablet, you can do it on there. I think I'm going to make a video where I show you how to get the calculator on the tablet, so look out for that one. But for now I'll do it by hand. So you can find how much it, on this one, is increasing. So from negative 0.75 to negative 0.5. That's adding 0.25. And same thing, 0.5 to negative 0.25, we're adding 0.25. And again. So that means that our slope is 0.25. Now we got to find the y intercept. So to do that, we go backwards. So we'd have to subtract 0.25 which would make it negative 1. So over here would be negative 1. So our y-intercept is negative 1. So then we just write it as an equation, mx plus b. So our equation would be y equals 0.25x minus 1. Okay, this one, you'd use stat or do what we did on that last problem. Same thing on this one. You just have to come up with the points yourself. So I'm just going to start this one for you and then you can do the rest. So this point is 1 comma negative 2. This one's 2 comma 0. 3 comma 2. And 4 comma 4. So if you make a table, you would have 1, negative 2, 2, 0, 3, 2, 4, 4. And then do the same thing. Put it in stat. Or find the common difference. Okay, and then on number 10, it's a word problem, so it's a little trickier. It says, the yearbook staff is unpacking a box of school yearbooks. The arithmetic sequence, 281, 270, 259, 248, 
represents the total number of ounces that the box weighs as each yearbook is taken out. Okay, so the first number is 281, second one is 270, third one is 259, fourth is 248. So this is what you would put into stat, or you can do it by hand. So it's decreasing by 11 each time. So we know our slope is going to be 11, or negative 11. And then to figure out the y-intercept, we go backwards. So 281 plus 11 would be 292. So it would be plus 292. And then it says determine the weight of each yearbook. So we know each time that they take a yearbook out, it's going down 11 pounds. So that means that each yearbook must weigh 11, or not 11 pounds, but 11 ounces. Then it says if the box weighs 17 ounces empty and 292 ounces when it's full, how many yearbooks were in the box? So we got to figure out how many yearbooks make it have 292. So you can use the calculator. If you put the equation that you found into the calculator, then scroll until you see 292 on the Y column. And whatever you get there will be your answer. Then you have to find the domain and range. You're not going to be able to do that until you find the answer for C. Alright, so this is due on Friday, so make sure you get it done. Due Friday.